Hi! Uh, it's me, MacG. Welcome back to another video. Um, now, this is just... Uh, I have no idea what I'm gonna do in this video. Like, um, I guess it's sort of an update? I don't really know, but... Um, it's just me showing uh, where I'm at, at least, with the uh, internal remote shell with fucking uh, Minecraft and crap. Um, so I'm just going ahead and booted up my server. Oh, and I don't even have it installed. Great. Okay, so this is just the plugin I'm working on, the remote shell. So I've actually gone ahead and got this working. It took quite a while to figure out a non-cancerous way of parsing over the Linux command line because usually how I've done uh, Linux remote shells in the past is uh, if you create a process builder and then you would execute like bash and then as an argument uh, tack i. What that will do is boot you into a new uh, bash command line, but um, usually uh, with servers and stuff on Linux, if it's loaded from a terminal itself, when you boot into a new bash line, it'll uh, overwrite the original one, which is really dumb, and it took me quite a while to figure out that it was basically hopeless to try and find a special, unique, cool way on to creating one without uh, basically trying to start a new open terminal without figuring out what it is and my cat just ran out the cat door so <laughs> yeah because uh, there's a way to do it like with genome to do that but not all um, server hosts are using genome some of them just are using a basic uh, terminal which it could be anything at this point so I just decided to do it an old-fashioned way and uh, if I go into it, so, um, right, so this is basically just the Windows version. Uh, yeah, this is just the Windows version. So this, <laughs> this will just spawn in a, um, I think I said there's a PowerShell or something as the default, oh no, uh, command line. Um, but that's fine, I can change that or whatever depending on the need. And for Linux, it's a fuckstorm, because I was trying to avoid doing it this way as much as possible, because I wasn't too sure how it was going to handle it, but it seems to have handled it alright. Basically what we're doing in this is just, um, uh, is we're just running oops, bash, and then uh, I think it's C, or is it E? I don't know so much I've done. I think C and then it'll throw in your command in here. So that's, so that's what that does and then it'll um, grab the read data until the process is finished. Now it took a bit to work all that part out because it's a bit of a shit to do all that. So yeah. Uh, anyway, let's pick up compile that. Um, we'll see. Yes, yes I have. Okay, then I'll jump over to this window. And this is just the socket listener that I've got. So I'll come over here and need a reload. And of course this is just gonna do it on start because it's just a test. Uh, as you can see it boots in to uh, PowerShell. I can do help. And it displays all the help commands. Ah, fuck, I forgot to export. That's why it's not in PowerShell. But that's okay. But yeah, you get the point of it. Um, no, it's directory, isn't it? That echoes through it all, and what have you. And yeah, it's the same on Linux, pretty much. Um, it's just slightly less slow as what I've realized now, uh, this second. On Windows, it seems to be decently slow, but that's okay. Um, yeah, obviously this will all be refined and what have you. 
This is just the basic version, so I'll be releasing this, I guess, now. And you lot can modify it and fuck with it. Do whatever you want. I don't care. Ah, oh, God. So, yeah. Uh, so I'll see you in a, another video, I guess. I'm still working on it. Um, I've added a bit more. I've just kind of drifted off, but I'm trying to get it all to work. And as you can see, this is all still the same. Um, I've added a bit more stuff. Uh, I've gotten um, quite a bit done, actually. Um, uh, but I won't go into it right now. Uh, just a quick update, I think someone said, I forget, someone said I should um, make a rat, um, visual basic, and I don't know, I might get around to it at some point, but uh, I'm very busy, so uh, I have literally, I can't give anybody um, an estimated time on anything right now, so yeah. That's about it. I'll get it. I mean, I've wanted to do a rat for uh, quite a while. I mean, like one for YouTube at least. Um, but I don't know. It's like it, it really depends on what you want, like the functionality to be. Like obviously, remote desktop and what have you. It's kind of a bit tricky to throw all that onto UDP. So, uh, which of course is the best way to <laughs> send uh, images and audio across, but. It can get a little fucked up, especially if you don't um, split the packet, then you end up getting lost halfway, and then you end up with malformed data, and then you end up with a corrupted image or audio stream, which can be very good. Um, oh yeah, rats are pretty simple. I won't get into anything complicated, mostly because some of the stuff I don't really know myself. Um, like a lot of the um, was it browser password scraping, I know a bit, but it's like some of the older versions, which I know. Um, I think one of them still works with Google Chrome on the latest update, but I know with Firefox it doesn't work, within the Explorer it doesn't work. But I mean, who really uses the Explorer anymore? And I don't think there's one for uh, Edge that I'm aware of. I mean, there might be, but. I haven't really messed around with it too much. As I said, I'm very busy. I'm a busy person. Uh, so yeah, that's mostly about it. So uh, thank you guys for watching and whatnot.